so this is just a quick run through of how to do a uh, simple version of the uh, the suddenly very popular Wellerman on uh, DG Box. Uh, so we're going to do it in E minor, um, and it's uh, yeah going to be a lot of pulling in the verse. So you need some good air controls to start the bellows tight shut. Um, and we're going to do this starting on the D row on the B on the pull. So just on pull notes there on the D row. And then you're going to come up to the uh, C on the G row. And again, that's just on the pull, C's and A's. And you've got the uh, up to the E on the pull, and back down to the B on the pull on the D row. So we're all on the pull so far. Similar to the beginning. And then we can do this bit on the push so you can finally get some uh, air back out your bellows. Just that rundown of push notes. So B on the G row, A on the D row, G on the G row, F sharp on the D row. And finish on the E on the pull again. So try and uh, use a bit of air back on those push notes to get your bellows closed again by that point. Okay, so that's the whole verse section. And push. Pull. Okay, and then the uh, chorus bit. So we're pulling again on the G row, E's and C's. And push. And D and B. And then. Uh, yeah, pull here, C, A, A, B over on the other row, so. Um, and keep pulling. Just B's and E's on the D row. And similar to the beginning again. Um, and just like the end of the chorus, uh, end of the verse bit, sorry, on the push. And back to E on the pull. Okay, so that whole uh, chorus bit. So um, let's get some chords with that. Um, and there's various things you can do on the left hand. You know, you could just um, yeah, go for bass chord, bass chord all the way through to um, help along with the rhythm. So let's try that first. So it's going to be E minor for the uh, first bit. It's the leading note at the beginning. So we're starting on the E. Um, here we've got A minor, so if you've got thirds in your box, then uh, you'll need to do A minor 7, A bass with a C chord. If you've got thirds out, you can just use a straight A like that. Uh, and back to E minor. And B minor 7 here, so... B bass D chord, and back to E minor. Okay, so that's C minor. E minor seven. E minor. And B minor seven. So if you're using those crossed over chords, the A minor seven, B minor seven, maybe easier to stop the bass chord, bass chord, and just hold the block chords. So bass and chord together. So do bass chord there, and then just held together. And back to bass chord, bass chord. And then block chord again together. And back to bass chord, bass. Okay, and the chorus, it's going to be a C chord, G chord, um, A minor 7 again, and E minor, C, G, and B minor 7. Okay, so that's your basic version. Okay, 
uh, but then what's quite nice to do is um, to sort of fill in a bit of the uh, right hand harmony to sort of imitate that sort of vocal harmony you get um, in the sung versions. So you need to know some uh, chord shapes. So with the E uh, at the start of the chorus here, if you add in uh, G on the D row, C on the, sorry, uh, yeah, G on the D row, C on the G row, and E at the top there, that's the melody note. And then you just need to make sure that you've lifted off that C in time to play it when it's it's turned to be the melody note. So you could just hold that G all the way through, or you can put all three down at the beginning. Yeah, maybe all three, and just the G and the E, and the G and the C, so you can still hear the melody line at the top. Um, and yeah, then it's uh, G chord, so um, similar thing there, you can put all three down, G, B, and D on the G row. But then you've got to get just those Bs again on their own. Um, yeah, there you could just hold the C and A together. Or um, yeah, it could go all the way down for the E, A, C. Um, and then, yeah, it could just overlap the B and E there. So we've got... Okay, um, and um, and yeah, if you want something fancier to do on the left hand, for these uh, kinds of four four songs are quite like this sort of accompaniment where you go bass, add the chord, lift off the bass, put the bass back down, and that's one bar of four. So you get one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Can be trickier to do on the A minor seven because that's the other way up. And it'll give you something like uh, A mix of the two, you know, I tend to not do one pattern all the way through, but um, so there you go, have a go at that.